We are learning new information tonight about a wreck that resulted in the death of a baby. Tonight, the baby's mother, who was driving the car that caused the wreck, is now facing charges. News 13's Evan Donovan has our continuing coverage. He joins us live from the Highway Patrol office in Asheville. What is the mother charged with, Evan? Well, Larry, in just the past few hours, troopers have charged 20-year-old Jadrian Ledbetter with DWI and careless and reckless driving. Her one-year-old daughter, Reagan, was sitting directly behind her in her 2008 Toyota, the side that took all the impact from that accident. A woman who was following closely behind the scene described it when she called 911. Oh, okay. God, and they're, hold they're getting the baby. Like, they're, they're okay. moving around in there. They've got, they're not staying still. The Highway Patrol says Ledbetter was speeding when she was driving eastbound on Barnardsville Highway yesterday afternoon, likely going above that 55 mile per hour speed limit. She ran off the road, lost control, and according to troopers, then overcorrected and hit a YMCA activity bus traveling westbound. The three children on board that bus were not hurt, but the driver did sustain minor injuries. Tonight, troopers tell us they don't believe that Jadrian Ledbetter had been drinking but they do suspect that she was driving under the influence of some type of drugs. But it will take some time to figure out exactly what was in her system, if anything. Typically, a backlog with the SBI, given the uh, amount of cases that are submitted, it, it can be anywhere from three to six months on determining what, if anything, is in her blood. Now, all day, messages have been pouring in on Jadrian Ledbetter's Facebook page. You could see messages and prayers from friends and family there. Also, lots of pictures of little one-year-old Reagan posted to that page as well. Now, there was a third adult in the vehicle in the right rear passenger seat. That was 30-year-old Misty Menser. She was not wearing a seatbelt in that accident. She was ejected from the vehicle, and she remains in critical condition tonight at Mission Hospital. Reporting live in Asheville, I'm Evan Donovan for News 13.